Aaron, a couple of uh, last offseason, you stepped away from track. What went into that decision? I'm sure you've already talked about it, but I've kind of hey. seen your game develop since. Hey, let's raise your hand and get a remote mic. Oh. So I answer that? Wait. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, I'll say just like the load, like just how much work I'm getting, like how like how much like I'm doing, like putting on my body, just like I can go more at practice and like feel healthier, and not just like tax. So I'll say just the load, like the work, it's less. Like I feel way better at practice. Hey, yeah, Arian. Uh, uh, Kirby was saying yesterday that uh, Carson is is really laid back, low key, that kind of stuff. How have you seen that kind of leadership style? from him throughout the spring, through the summer, and now into the fall? Mm, I will say, like, on the field, that's not really the case. I feel like he's more, like, deep, like, more into it, like, more vocal, make sure, like, he going to tell me, like, ask me a question of, like, how I like something or something. So I feel like he's more vocal on the field. But off the field, he's very chill, laid back, and, like, you know, to himself. So. Aaron, I know practice started today, but you, you've had an off season. So, who is the closest competitor and the fastest man on the team race? Who are some guys you've seen that uh, could challenge you on on their best day? Uh, that's a hard question. I say like we have to like we actually have to like line up to like see who really is the fastest. But uh, I, I feel like we got some other guys that probably can compete with me now. You know, like C.J. Well, Smith, Anthony Edwards, Lad. They were they're all up there right with me. So I can't really say like you know, it's still like a competition out there. So. I don't feel like, but you know, yeah, it's a competition. <laughs> Aaron, just how are you feeling physically going into this fall camp, and, and what's your excitement level of trying to go out here and trying to earn a role in this offense? I'll say, playing this sport, you're never going to feel 100%. So, I mean, I feel good. I feel way better than I did last year at this point, but I'm knowing like ahead is a, this is the best I'm like this like last like yesterday probably the best I was going to feel throughout camp because it's like the first day. So I'm prepared like for injuries, like look small injuries and stuff like that. So I feel like I feel great. I feel good. Arian, I, I just wondered, it, it's different now. You guys are here all summer, so it's not like you're just showing up for mm -hmm. training camp. But what what changes when you move into this mode like you guys went through today? And, and just uh, what's the emotions? Is it something you get excited about or, or, or do you dread it or, you know what I mean? Um, I'll say. I'm excited because I haven't played that much football, obviously. But just your mindset switches. Like once yesterday hit, once August second hit, the mindset switches to like a dog mentality. Like whatever they throw it is, we're prepared for it, no matter what it is. So just like your mindset changes, and like things like that. Uh, Arian, talking about your speed, that's one of the biggest parts about your game. But do you feel like because of your elite speed that people tend to overlook the other parts of your game as a receiver? Definitely, yes. I can do anything else like a receiver can do, but obviously. <laughs> Some attributes are going to shine more than others. Arian, obviously each quarterback is different. What's your relationship like with each of those guys? My, my relationship is good with all of them, you know, because I'm always, they're always, I'm always popping in, getting reps with like the twos or the threes, you know, trying to help out and stuff. So I feel like my relationship is good with all of them. How do you continue to build that connection? Uh, I'll say bonding, like outside of football, not on the field, like not sitting alone, like when I'm going to eat or something, like, you know, so things like that, just bonding, like outside of football. Arian, you're a veteran now in this receiver's room. What advice have you given to the freshmen coming in? You, um, just anything you can share with them? Just taking it day by day, man. Every day ain't going to be perfect, and you can't get better in, at everything in one day. So just taking it day by day and keep pushing it because it's going to be hard. It's going to challenge you for sure. So I just like try to keep them like you know level-minded, tell them to keep pushing, and just everything's going to be straight. Arian, oh, um, the obvious question, when you go into a season where you all got a chance to do something that's never been done in the poll era, mm -hmm. to win three straight national championships, how do you, you know, stay on the, the, the focus, the daily focus, but knowing that big goal is out there? It's something that, you know, would be very historic to do. By setting goals before then, you can't set a goal that far, like, far ahead. We try to stay, like, what's important now? Because we can't win no national championship right now. We got to still practice and build a foundation for the season, like, throughout fall camp to – get to where we want to be. As a guy who's had to overcome so many injuries, how, is that, how has the process of doing that helped you become better and be the player and person that you're trying to be going forward into this season? Say that again? Just, you know, you've someone, injuries have been a big part of your story, and you've had to obviously overcome those and get back out on the field. And you make a big play last year in the semifinal against Ohio State. How have having to overcome those injuries you know, made you a better player? 
to this point? Hunger. I'm hungry. I still ain't played, even though what I did in the past will mean, not, like, mean nothing to me right now. Like, I'm still trying to get ready for this season like, and show what I can do this season. Last, well, what I did last year don't really mean nothing. So just the hunger, I'll say, because I haven't played much. Aaron, in my opinion, last year's defense might have been the best tackling Georgia team I've ever seen. What's it like? How does that make you all better on the offensive side? And then how did those, the new guys, or the 2023 team, how did they do throughout spring since you're just one day into practice here? I challenge you, man. Like, I could never relax. Like, when I'm running, like, through traffic or something with the ball or something, like, catching the ball, I have to, like, focus on small things. Like, I can't have the ball loose or something. So it really makes you better going against them every day. And just like this year's team, I mean, obviously the young guys got a long ways to go and like we'll learn throughout camp. But I feel like we're just as good as we was last year on defense wise. We still got to just practice and get better every day. This is similar to the question Connor just asked, but what has the emotional journey been like for you having to navigate some of those injuries and obviously getting ready for a big season for you? I mean, it's been rough, obviously, when I was hurt. But like now, I try to not focus on things like that because, you know, the only person that really matters in like, it's myself, like what I think. Like, you know, what people said to me, I don't really care. So, like, just staying, like, you know, level minded. Hey, Aaron, uh, how would you compare the depth in the receiver room this year compared to the other seasons you've been here at Georgia? I mean, I ain't gonna lie, it's really deep. We got a lot of competition, man. Everybody around me is gonna make me better just like I wanna make them better. So, just a lot of competition. So, I'm ready to see, like, what we have in store this year. Aaron, we'll get a chance to talk to Lad in a few minutes. Just what is he like as a teammate, and, and what does he bring to this receiver room? Lad's a guy where he ain't going to leave, no doubt. He's going to do the extra, make sure his like, teammates are okay, regardless of the position. He's just like a team guy. He don't like really like focus on himself. He's going to make sure you're okay. Like he gonna, if, I, if I do something that practice, he's going to make sure like I did it to the best of my ability. So like, if I'm like not running fast, he's like, Aaron, you need to run, or Aaron, you need to do something. You know? So he's like more like a team guy, I say. Yeah, Aaron, I guess I want to ask you about, you know, your journey following that lead. I mean, you could be competing internationally in track right now. It's a very different career, maybe even more lucrative. Can you talk about what's made you decide to go towards football where you're, you're one of the guys where if you competed on an international stage, you might be one of the fastest men in the world right now? Just the passion, man. You ain't going to play football unless you love it, man. Just like camp, 14 days in the hotel, like no access, not on social media, just – cutting life off and just work, focusing on football. So I'll say just the passion and the love for it. Like, I wouldn't do it if I didn't like it. I would be running track <laughs> or still trying to, so. You mentioned cutting life off. I mean, what is the process like for you guys over these two weeks, especially before school starts back? Like, how much time are you spending with your teammates, getting to know each other? Just we what spend, is the process of, of camp like? We spend every day together for 14 days straight. Uh, I'm not on, like, people don't, like, we have our phones, but. I turn my phone off, like try not to be on it. Like, I mean, I obviously like get on and check and like, you know, like my family and stuff, but I'm never on, not on social media and stuff. So I just try to like be with the team only, like no outsiders. Mikai Muse, just what did, what's your impression of him, you know, through the spring and just what kind of player is he in the locker room? Mikai Muse is a dog. He's definitely a team guy too. You know, he's going to work hard and give 100% every play. So. He's a dog. That's all I explain him. What's it, what's it like coming in um, with the quarterback situation? You know, it was very settled the last uh, few years. You you know knew who your guy was. Uh, what's it like coming in with that sort of uncertainty kind of hanging over going into the season? Um, I feel like it's really not that big. Like, I'm just focused on my competition because they have a competition. I can't focus on quarterbacks. They got a whole job to do. Just I got a whole job to do. I got to work on my craft and my plays and my effort and stuff, just like they do. So I feel like we're going to be fine at quarterback. Let's take two more questions. Yeah, Aaron, over here. Just take us back to your first fall camp. What was something you learned about, like, you know, your first college camp and, and what are some, you know, things you've relayed back to some younger guys? Believe it or not, this is my, well, I have never finished a fall camp here because I got hurt last year, but two weeks out before Oregon. And my freshman year, I got hurt beginning of the season, so I never really had a fall camp. So my goal is just, you know, enjoy it, you know, stay in the moment, and focus on what's important now. Each day, the process of getting better. When you talk about how deep you guys are at receiver, obviously you lost AD. You're talking about bringing in Dom, bringing in Ra Ra. Where, where's the competition coming from? It's coming from everybody down to walk on. Everybody out there trying to play. Everybody trying to find a way and find a way to make an opportunity for themselves and get on the field. So competition, the competition in the receiver room is very high.